very few films in Indian cinema sadly that leave us confused and perplexed with respect to its plot and the way it ends. Majority of the films either end with a conclusive happy or sad ending. However, there are some films specifically in thrillers and horrors that leave us rather confused. This is either due to the complexity of the plot or ending the film with a moment that lets audiences answer the mystery rather than the creators just giving us the conclusion. So we have discussed some films which dazed audiences and are going to tell you its possible theories. So here is tried and refused productions with confusing and complicated bollywood movie endings finally explained also before i start the video i have to shout out a few channels that have helped me research for this topic you should check out prateek borode for movie reviews and explanations he is absolutely brilliant if you are interested in knowing more details about horror films in india you should check out haunting tube and finally for some gripping movie explanations check out tripping on cinema so let's just get to the video Three. One of the best films this year and the most pleasant surprise of 2018 was the horror comedy Three. So this movie ki kafi theories hain. So the movie is that Three ko sirf izzat aur samman chahiye because she was ostracized and disrespected by the town when she was human. So the movie ends with Shraddha Kapoor leaving the town with Three's choti and merging it with her hair. presumably imbibing her powers this choti was cut by vicky as three was choking shraddha kapoor abhi theories ki baat kare and you guys can comment on what you believe in ek cheez show short hai ki shraddha kapoor stree nahi hai she was definitely another witch weaker than stree that wanted her powers knowing that the town needed the son of a prostitute to tackle the witch shraddha uses him to bait stree and cut her choti now pehli theory hai ki The mystical book that talks about how to tackle three has some missing pages. So we assume as Shraddha Kapoor visits the town during the puja, she was the one that took the pages to research about three's weaknesses. By using Vicky's help, she captures her powers. Now who is three? The theory is that Vicky's mother, who was separated from her child and lover, thrown out of the village and disrespected and ridiculed, she was three. Hence she uses Jana to abduct men naked, but when Vicky was in front of her, she didn't harm him. The last scene in which we see three looking at a murti which has been created created and says three raksha karna we also remember that she accepts what people say outside their houses like o stri kalana she finally gets some closure in terms of respect from the town it's important to note that stri wasn't killed but her powers were reduced and the town becomes free from male abductions as she finally has been given some form of worship and respect stri 2 the sequel can maybe unravel what exactly happened with shraddha kapoor's character her journey after this and maybe finding out the mystery about who she lost long ago 404 error not found so one of the most underrated psychological thriller is the movie titled 404 error not found a movie that has some crazy potential due to its acting and plot and maybe due to the lack of promotions and choppy editing didn't get its due credit so we get to know that professor anirudh uses a fresher abhi as a case study to prove that there are no such things as ghosts and that these visions and images are just due to what's fed into the mind anirudh who himself suffers through bipolar disorder a condition in which you can see images of people who are dead or don't exist instructs seniors to rag abhi and constantly remind him about gautam a previous student who killed himself in room 404 Four, in which Abhi currently stays. After noticing his deteriorating state, showcasing a manic state of bipolar disorder, Abhi, who is convinced that he is seeing ghosts, Anirudh provides him evidence that it is actually a psychological disease. By Abhi getting convinced, Anirudh's thesis is complete, and Abhi has been deceived in this entire process, being collateral damage to this experiment. But Abhi is ready to prove Anirudh wrong and takes him to room 404. to show that he is actually hanging dead so the logical explanation in the end is that actually anirudh has reached a manic state where he assumes a crowd of people are giving him an applause as his thesis is complete and is talking to actually a dead person as abhi has killed himself so anirudh has reached a manic state imagining people in front of him and seeing and interacting with people who are already deceased Andhadhun. So Andhadhun was hands down the biggest surprise of 2018, leaving us shocked and amazed every step of the way. So the movie ends with Akash and Sophie meeting in London, and then Akash, who is still posing as a blind man, tells her the series of events that took place. So before my explanation, Dunga, I will first tell you the real story. Kya hai. So real story is Akash took the offer by Dr. Swami, who was offered by a rich sheikh, in which they sold Simi's organs and did a cornea transplant for Akash. It was a six crore deal, out of which Akash made rupees one crore. Ab me. Made-up story क्या है? That the car stops next to the tree. The doctor goes out to sedate Simi, who is in the dicky, but gets his throat slit by her. Simi steps inside the car, gives Akash the opportunity to leave, and then crashes because of a farmer hunting the bunny, eating all his crop. 
So we assume that Simi is dead. How do we know what is real and what is made up? As the story takes place, we notice that the car passes the tree. But as Akash narrates the story, the car stops at the tree, clearly telling us that he is making up the story. Another hint which many people didn't notice is that the new walking stick has a bunny on it, telling us that he is improvising the story as it goes. What tells us that he is not blind while he leaves the coffee shop without his stick. And the waitress reminds him to take it. And in the end, he smacks a can categorically on the floor. The ending was way more complicated than it seemed. No smoking. The most complex movie to even imagine explaining is undoubtedly the Anurag Kashyap directed film No Smoking. The reason for its complexity is that the film is packed with metaphors. Nothing can be taken at the surface value and the characters, the premise and its environment is created to showcase a particular theme. The grey murkiness of Mumbai, the movie being told only from Kay's perspective, a protagonist that has zero redeeming qualities. As we dwelled into understanding the film, it's important to note that where Anurag Kashyap was coming from. This was his third movie venture. His first film got banned by the CBFC and his second film by the government. So there was a lot of angst and helplessness in the creator's mind through which no smoking was created. The film and the position he is in is heavily inspired by Franz Kafka's style of writing, in which the protagonists seem to be punished without knowing the probable cause, adhering to the people in positions of power without questioning their sentence. The film is neither an anti-smoking nor is it a pro-smoking film. Kashyap deceived the health ministry in believing so and actually got felicitated by the ministry. The analogy throughout the film is that the cigarette is a freedom of expression in the film and all the surroundings of K are trying to take it away from him as they think that they know what's best for him. So in a way, Paresh Rawal's character who treats him in the rehabilitation center is actually representative of an authoritative individual, telling how it is and being not questioned by anyone. So in a way, K is Anurag Kashyap, a person who is perceived to be a self-obsessive nihilist who wishes to express. The expression for Kashyap are his films, just like for K is his cigarette. The CBFC in the same manner is Paresh Rawal, finding every possible way to annihilate that freedom of expression. This is also represented through the two fingers that go missing, the same fingers used to express in writing, maybe by Kashyap or by K for smoking a cigarette. In the end, as John is in a chamber with a bunch of men burning into thin air, it's actually compared to how the Jews were subjected to gas chambers in World War II and killed mercilessly. However, the end is not conclusive. It is open to interpretation as we only see the story from Kay's perspective. And Kay himself is conflicted of how his life is spiraling downwards. Mind is quite messed up, right? Yeah, me too. And that was the list guys. Write down in the comments below if you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.